on 27th um, uh, in the morning when uh, the curfew was li uh, lifted then my elder sister so she and me uh, uh, took a rickshaw and went to our Roka hall to see and uh, one uh, you know uh, Darwan was there and she told that some uh, some people got killed the class 4 uh, uh, you know employees uh, they got killed their families got killed uh, about Jagannath hall they told us and they asked to leave and they did not allow us to enter the uh, hall and they said that inside the hall most students were uh, killed because uh, those who were in the hall they uh, uh, took shelter with the uh, provost and house teacher's house uh, that, and then we were, went towards Jagannath hall and then we found a newly buried you know uh, you know uh, it is like a, not a grave it is like a you know uh, where some people's hands some people's leg were uh, and also we found one dead body uh, was lying uh, on a uh, rickshaw puller's dead body was in the, uh, and then from Roque Hall to medical uh, you know college uh, medical uh, uh, hospital college and hospital to see the situation both of, we went there and and then uh, in the footpath we saw two or three dead bodies uh, and then uh, some party people uh, class four people uh, union people they saw us and then one senior leader who was with some uh, you know uh, uh, cover. Uh, he came forward and he told uh, it is not a good idea to stay here for you to. Uh, you better go back and over there lot of dead bodies uh, uh, inside the you know uh, hospital and outside the you know, gate of the uh, hospital. So that atrocity. And another uh, is uh, while we were coming, uh, we took a rickshaw and we were trying to come through some, uh, you know, slum areas. And then we found that uh, most of the slums were burned out. Uh, uh, it is not in our, uh, not much discussed in the our grand narratives, national uh, discourse. Uh, we we do not most uh, grand narrative in the uh, you know Dhaka University, which was true. Uh, the uh, attention was in the Dhaka University. Uh, then Iqbal Hall, then Jagannath Hall. Those were the center for students' movement. Uh, but uh, the slum areas where uh, uh, the worker, working class used to live, rickshaw pullers and other working people used to live, they were also burnt like anything and killed like anything. That we like to see. But uh, unfortunately, those uh, pictures and those uh, are not in our grand narratives or national history. Then I went to uh, Agartala and lived in a, a, a camp which was the headquarter of NAP Communist Party Students Union and uh, Farmers Unions. So from there we organized, uh, you know, people uh, uh, for nurse because uh, a lot of uh, wounded people were uh, overflowing the hospital. There was a shortage of doctors, shortage of nurses, and the field hospitals needed nurse. Because there had been some students from, uh, you know, uh, medical college and some doctors 
those who, who uh, on uh, simply passed and they were also working in, in doctor but shortage of nurses. So we recruited some uh, women uh, uh, from different uh, you know camp around Agartala uh, for training of nurses and then also we uh, organized uh, schools for the students, uh, young children. Uh, f for the young children, because we did at that time we did not have any idea, uh, you know, I, I, idea of how long uh, this war will, uh, you know, prolong, uh, you know, and we we had the experience of Vietnam War that it is going so long, so we thought that uh, our younger generation should. Uh, at least get uh, the basic education. So that is why we were or organizing uh, schools in, in different camps around Agartala uh, so that uh, uh, the, our children, at least they get basic education, Bangla, English, uh, uh, <coughs> math, uh, basic physics, basic chemistry, basic uh, history, geography, this kind of thing. So up to class eight, uh, uh, these students could study. And since uh, educated people were also there in the camps, uh, they were working as teachers. So those kind of things we were organizing used to do. Uh, I myself took, uh, uh, you know, short training of 10 or 15 days of, uh, you know, uh, nursing. Uh, I, I learned how to push uh, injection. I learned how to change, uh, you know, dressing of, uh, you know, surgery or wound, this kind of things and basic idea of what, what are the basic medicines. And also we were recruiting, uh, you know, freedom fighters from different camps, young people, and then gave them some uh, political motivation and education and basic idea of why we are fighting for our Bangladesh, what is the main objectives of our liberated Bangladesh. This kind of political, uh, you know, uh, orientation we gave and then they used to go for arms training uh, for three months, four months, and then they used to come back and then we used to organize uh, their arms ammunition or, you know, and inducted. So different kind of uh, job we have to do as an organizer, as a doer. So how to organize and run that camp, cooking, helping cooking, and then keeping the camp, uh, you know, neat and clean you know, to boost up their moral, boost up their, uh, you know, uh, energy. So all these kind of activities, it is very difficult to explain now what kind of activities we have done.